Okay guys, in this video, I'm going to demo a basic Hello World Angular 2 application using Visual Studio 2015 and ASP.NET MVC. Now I'm going to walk you through the different steps of creating the application and also some of the errors that I encountered during the setup. And all the necessary links that I'm going to be making use of in this video are in the description down below. So make sure to check that. Now the first step is to make sure that you have VS 2015 update 3 or higher. And the way to check that is go to Visual Studio, click on, let's see, help and then about. Now over here, you should be able to see update 3. Now if you don't have Visual Studio 2015 at all, then you can go to the first link in the description and download Visual Studio Community Edition. Now this is a free edition and once you install it, you should have update 3 right away. And if you already have Visual Studio 2015 but not necessarily update 3, then use the second link. So over here, you can click on download Visual Studio update 3 and this is just going to install update 3 in your existing Visual Studio. So that is our first step. Our second step is to install TypeScript for Visual Studio 2015. So again, click on the link in the description and you should be navigated to this particular page. Over here, click on Visual Studio 2015. Now it should start downloading the setup file. Go ahead, install it and you can make sure, all right, so yeah, make sure that you don't have any errors. That is our second step. Step three is to download and install Node. So again, go to the link in the description, node.js org slash en slash download and select the appropriate version of Node for your machine. Now once you install Node, it is also going to install npm for you. Step four is to configure Visual Studio 2015 to use npm. So go back to Visual Studio, click on Tools and then Options. Over here, select projects and solutions and then external web tools. And here you should be seeing that the path variable is the third entry or is at the third position. So select the path variable and click on the up arrow mark to bring it to the second position. And then you can click on OK. Now once you do that, make sure you restart your Visual Studio. The next step, step five, is to create an MVC project. So again, go to File, New Project, and then you can click on Web, and then ASP.NET Web Application, and over here, make sure you select MVC. Now, I've already created one, so I'm just going to open it again. So File, Open, Project, Solution, Angular MVC Demo, and I'm gonna open that. So once you open this, make sure you rebuild your solution. So rebuild it. Now for our next step, we are going to bring in the Angular application. So again, in the link, go to my GitHub page and over here, you should be able to see a, rep a repository called Angular 2 Tutorials. So download it and extract it and you should have access to all these particular folders. We are going to be making use of Angular version 2.2 template. So open that in your file explorer and you should be seeing all these files. So just copy everything. So control C, go back to Visual Studio, make right click on your maybe project and all the way at the bottom, you should see open folder in file explorer. So over here, I'm just going to paste all the Angular 2 files that I've copied. So copy and replace the fav icon as well, that is fine. So that is our sixth step. Now for our step seven, we need to include only the required files in our project. So in the Solution Explorer, click on this Show All Files button. Now over here, we are going to first right click on App Folder and then say Include in Project. And you can click on No for the dialog box. And then similarly on package.json, right click all right, this seems to take some time. So right click and then include in project. And then styles.css, right click, include in project. And tsconfig.json, right click and include in project. 
Now we need to install all these Angular dependencies. So right click on package.json file and click on restore packages. Now this will take a couple of seconds or a few minutes. So once the installation is complete, we are going to have to rebuild the solution. And I'm going to move on to the next step and then come back to this once the rebuilding is done. So the eighth step is to add Angular code for the view. So again, go back to my GitHub repo and in Angular 2 tutorials, I have a file called code for ASP.NET. So click on that. Now there are two or there is code that we need to be we need to include in two files. The first one is layout.cshtml and I'm going to copy this everything in between this Angular 2 code. So copy, come back to Visual Studio and then over here I'm going to go to views and then over here shared and then layout.cshtml. All right, over here, I'm going to just under scripts.render, I'm going to paste what I have copied. And this is basically all the references for that Angular 2 is going to require. All right, and then once you do this, the second step is to copy the rest of the code copy it and then go to index.cshtml. So in views, go to home folder and then index.cshtml. So over here, just replace the entire file with the code that you have copied from my GitHub page. So now I'm gonna save, all right, I'm gonna save this and I'm also going to save underscore layout.cshtml and we are going to wait for npm install to restore all the packages. All right, there you go. NPM completed with exit code zero and installing packages is completed. So now I can go and right click on the solution and then rebuild solution. So when the rebuild happens, we should not have any errors. So let's give it a few seconds to rebuild. There you go. We have rebuilt all once succeeded. So now I can click on debug then maybe we can start without debugging. So there you go, Angular 2 quick start. And from our component, we have hello Angular. So we can just make sure that, go back to our app folder and over here, app.component.ts. And you should have hello Angular. So name is equal to Angular. We are using interpolation. So hello name, which is nothing but hello Angular, which is what we see over here. So that is how you set up Angular 2 application using Visual Studio 2015 and ASP.NET MVC. All right, so before we wind up, I'm going to point out some of the errors that I faced while setting up the project. Now I had Visual Studio 2015, but not update three. So when I installed update three, there was an error when I tried to create a new MVC project. And the solution was to just reinstall NuGet Package Manager, or if it was removed, just install it. The second error I faced was trying to restore packages. So right-clicking on package.json and clicking on restore packages. If the package manager shows you an error, it is probably because you don't have admin privileges. So make sure that you are running Visual Studio as an administrator or with admin privileges. The third one is if you're not able to run as an admin or you were able to restore packages, but when you rebuild the solution, it says that TypeScript can't find Angular slash core or similar packages. It is because the bin folder or the binaries folder wasn't created in node underscore modules folder. So in that case, you can just run npm install from command prompt in the package.json folder. And finally, if everything, everything was successful, but when you try to run your project, you get an error in the browser that says, 
this particular error runtime error because it cannot find one of its dependencies just go to your temporary folder so in c drive windows microsoft.net framework your version temporary asp.net files just remove all the all the or just delete all the temp files now this should solve it if this doesn't then go to your temp folder by just typing this in your file explorer and removing all the files there as well so I hope you find this video useful if you're trying to use Visual Studio with Angular 2. So please click on the like button. It's going to help out a lot. Thank you for subscribing and I'll see you guys in the next video.